Poland has been changed, perhaps forever, by the war. On February the 24th last year, there wasn't even time to think. The country opened its arms without hesitation to more than four million Ukrainians in the first three months. The overwhelming majority who fled across the border, often with nothing but the clothes they stood in, women, children and the elderly, bewildered and traumatized. Warsaw funded eight shelters for families who haven't found rented accommodation in the city. Here, the International Rescue Committee has set up safe healing and learning spaces. In different ways, everyone needs social and emotional support. Tell me about life in the shelter. Have you made friends? How are your kids getting on? When we came here, we felt welcomed. There was free food, shampoo, everything we needed for life. It was handy since we had no money. But sitting there doing nothing is pointless. So I took different jobs. I did cleaning in different cleaning businesses. Now, thank God, I have a good job. People here are quite different since we're all from different cities. But it's all right. At least there's no missiles flying over our heads. I really want to go home. Every day I'm reading the news, monitoring the events. It's incredibly difficult, but I need to carry on for the kids, for them to have a normal life, a normal childhood, for them not to see all that's happening, for them to be at peace. And how has Eva coped? Surprisingly good. She's doing really well. Newsnight filmed at this makeshift refugee centre in April, opened by volunteers and almost immediately overwhelmed by hundreds and hundreds of desperate families. Now it's almost empty again, but its Ukrainian founder, Svetlana, has repurposed it to teach Ukrainians Polish and try to offer community, especially to those who are desperate for home. I imagine that the worst thing for refugees is isolation. It is indeed. These courses, it's not about only learning language, but also support each other. There are not so much places in Warsaw, for example, where people, uh, where Ukrainian refugees can come and just talk and have a cup of tea. So for them, uh, it is really important to go out of home and to meet with uh, other Ukrainians. I think my wish is to go back. I remember when I was four, I wanted to live in Kiev. From that early age. For me, it's the city I want to live in forever. But I'm very afraid that I would have to stay here, not by my choice. I think a lot of people return home after three or four months uh, because they didn't have any place to stay and they didn't have money to stay here. They didn't manage to find work. A lot of people like still in the middle. They are going back home, see the situation, returning back here, try to find some um, quick job here to earn some money, then again return home. And Nowhere more than at Warsaw's railway stations do you see people still in the middle. It's where Ukrainian families meet and where they part again often frequently. From Warsaw East Station, a daily train makes the 17-hour journey directly to Kyiv. Olga, who escaped with her children a year ago, lives in Warsaw. Her sister Natalia visits, but refuses to leave her home in Cherniv, near the border with Russia and Belarus. I miss uh, my family, I miss her so much. You prefer to stay there than come to join your sister um, in Poland? We have uh, the Ukrainian phrase like um, the walls in your home heal. So when I come back even to the war uh, and to the situ worst situation to my city, I feel good because I'm at home. But even you're here with the children. What's happening to you? How long have you been here? We're here for, for, for approximately one year. Our heart is in Ukraine and with Ukraine. But unfortunately, um, to the children, we do not have opportunity to return because of absolutely unsafe situation. And you'll be going home? Yes, it's our dream. 
In their own ways, Ukrainians in both countries live daily with the war and a determination that families will be reunited in the victorious Ukraine. I'm having uh, the thermoses. Uh, there will be for uh, soldiers, for our, for our defenders. So uh, I'm delivering this all things to our defenders. Thermoses and um, warm clothes. Warm yeah. clothes too. Warm socks for soldiers. Every Ukrainians are fighters. Sometimes we do not have opportunity to fight with guns in our arms, but we fight in other ways for our victory. It's only victory. We do not accept any other scenario. Only victory.